Now just imagine an application that gave you access to movies and some very, very recent and popular TV shows. Now this application is absolutely free. It works great on your Fire Stick, on your Nvidia Shield. It doesn't require any kind of registration, no mouse toggle. And as you can see, it really does have some fantastic content that you can enjoy on all of your devices. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the brand new 4K Fire Stick Max with this new remote control, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device or any of your favorite Android TV devices like the Nvidia Shield or the Chromecast with Google TV. Now the first thing we need to do is just go over to settings, go over to MiFi TV, click on developer options, and where it says install unknown apps, click on that and make sure you've enabled that for downloader. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader and then install them. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key and let's now open up downloader. And we're going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Type that in, click on go, or just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, and click on that, and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get this new CW application on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So this is the new CW application available for your Amazon devices or really any Android device. And let's scroll down. Here we can see some of those popular shows that it supports. Everything from All American, The Flash, uh, lots of different things. And let's scroll down. And under the step-by-step -step instructions, we have the link to the software. Now, before I click on the link, just bear this notice in red in mind because unfortunately due to YouTube's policies, um, I can't really talk too much about it, but just make sure you understand this red message. Okay, let's now click on the software, scroll down and click on the green download button. If you see an advert, just press back on the remote and click on the green button again. And this will download the application directly onto your device we can see it's just about 14 meg in size. Click on install. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag streaming, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I sincerely appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Let's click on done. I can now press the home key. And here is the new application there, so the CW. Let's open that up. Now, as I mentioned before, this application doesn't require any kind of login, no registration, and I'm going to do all of the navigation with the standard remote control. Now, on the home screen, we can see they've got some of the featured content, like Whose Lines Anyway, uh, Penn and & Teller, and some other shows. If I go over to the right, we can see just behind my head, there's a settings menu. Let's click on that. Here, for example, we can enable the next episode of playback. So this is something that you'd get on Netflix where when you are watching a series, as soon as one episode finishes, it gives you the option to continue watching automatically to the next episode. And we can see on this device that is enabled by default. And very importantly now, let's click on privacy options. And we can see they actually have a section here saying, do not sell my personal information. And by default, that option is disabled. So I mean, unless you really want them to sell your personal information, I would highly recommend you go into that and select enabled. So we are now saying, do not sell my personal information. But I mean, to be fair, the fact that we're not logging in, there's no usernames or passwords. So they are very limited in what they can capture. But again, just to be on the safer side, I would select enabled. So that's pretty much it for the settings, pretty basic. Now, before I click on home, we can see that it also supports continue watching. So what that means is if you do start a show or an episode of something and then exit out the application, 
the next time you go back into it without searching for it or finding it i can go back and continue watching and we can see i was previously watching whose lines it anyway and for example i now click on that just for a demonstration we can see in a couple of seconds that takes me back straight into the content and that really is a fantastic full hd picture and that's working great and that's always the benefit of these official streaming applications that firstly the content is normally in full hd secondly you don't really get any kind of buffering or stuttering or or lag because these are official services so they easily have the back-end infrastructure to handle all of the users that want to access this free content okay let's go over to home let's see what we actually get in this application so right from the top you can see we've got some popular shows over here lots of different things and let's say for example you want to watch a rush hour let's click on that and we can see guys it's not just like one episode per show or per series we can see they have lots and lots of shows pretty much you know the whole season is covered here i have a quick test if i want to watch this thing over here click on that and we are straight into that content and that's working absolutely fine okay let's back out of that here we can see some of the other popular shows like uh, roswell the walker lots of different things now that's one of the things somebody mentioned in my previous video that you know some of the other applications they only really have very very old shows or content from a long time ago but here we can see in this application they do have some very recent stuff now you can also go over to the show section at the top let's click on that and we can now see we have a massive library of shows so this is the trending section here we have a series then you have dramas, you have comedies, uh, you have a whole A to Z or A to Z, we can see in here. I mean, for a completely free application, which doesn't need any registration, no login, no mouse toggle, it does have some fantastic content. you got some superhero stuff, the DC series, thrillers, and binge-worthy. We can also go to the search at the top here. Let's say, for example, I'm looking for um, uh, Roswell, so I can actually use my voice and say Roswell. There we are. Click on Next. And we now get to see all of the episodes matching that. And again, for a final test, anything you want to watch, click on Play. And in a couple of seconds, or should we say five, four, three, two we are straight into that content so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching i know lots of you are always looking for more streaming applications more legal streaming applications and i do think this application is definitely worthwhile checking out so if you did find this video useful then do give it a thumbs up if you want to see more stuff like this then please do subscribe hit the notification bell with all notifications and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks